Hello, everyone, and welcome to our graduation celebration. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, and hopefully you do, I'm Ricky Atta, and I'm proud and honored to be your dean at Landon Food Systems. Um, before I start the actual celebration, uh, I would like to acknowledge the terrible events that happened at the Kamloops Indian Residential School and hope that they never repeat themselves. Um, but it gives me a way to segue into something that we do here at UBC, and that's a land acknowledgement. Um, as people may notice, um, I'm in my office here in McMillan, and we're on the traditional ancestral and unceded territories of the Musqueam people, and we are so grateful to be visitors on their land and to share it with them. And I would hope that wherever you're joining us from, that you would acknowledge the peoples of that land and the privilege that we have in sharing those lands. So thank you very much for joining us. We're in really challenging times, um, which is probably a gross understatement. You know, you've made it through COVID. Holy crow. I don't know if I could have done what you've done. But in addition to COVID, there's been a number of issues that have come to the forefront. You know, the whole um, Black Lives Matters, anti-Asian racism. And so I would ask you to take time to think about those issues. UBC has been very good in addressing those issues around equity, diversity, and inclusivity. And we actually put in place some policies and strategic plans around those issues. So I would hope that as you move forward in your lives, that you would keep those top of mind. I'm gonna apologize because um, Nikki uh, Glenning, who's our alumni uh, engagement officer and Karen Lee, who's our director of communications and marketing, always do a wonderful thing of preparing notes for me. And I apologize, Nikki and Karen, I'll probably go off script as I normally do, but thank you for your efforts. But let's get on to the celebration. Wow, you guys are an amazing group. Um, as I said, I'm very honored and privileged to be your dean. And for many of you, I had that opportunity, you know, to meet you in first year in LFS 100. And, you know, I think about how much you've grown since that time and how resilient you have been and how you're not afraid to take on challenges. And I think that's what defines LFS students. You know, they call LFS the friendly faculty. And I truly believe we are the friendly faculty. I have the privilege and many of our staff are with us today, uh, both the academic staff and our technical staff are here on the call today. And I think many of you get to meet them in person and get to interact with them, maybe not on a daily basis, but on a weekly basis, and they get to know your names. And I have that privilege of getting to meet you and hopefully remembering your names. But I still reflect back on that first year experience and my engagement with you in LFS 100. Uh, I hope I didn't do any dance moves. Maybe I did. Oh, and that was horrible. Um, so if there's one thing that I haven't improved on is my dance moves. So I, I'm sorry I've disappointed you. And maybe as you go off into your next journey, you can give me some more dance lessons. Hopefully not via Zoom, uh, but in person. And I do look forward to that day and hopefully it's coming sooner now than later that you come back and visit us. And I get to actually see you in person in three dimensions. I had the privilege earlier today to be at the UBC farm, um, which is, as you know, a jewel at, here at UBC, a jewel that many people outside of LFS don't know about. And it was wonderful to walk the fields and see the commodities growing but even more so 
I got to meet the farm staff in three dimensions. And that's been an incredible experience because I think many of us who have been on Zoom from morning till night, I don't think we would recognize people very easily in three dimensions since we've all lived in a two dimension cartoon world. So I wanted to thank you again for being part of this wonderful family we call LFS. And I'll be wishing you all the best numerous times uh, during the celebration, but here's the first of many. I also wanted to talk to you and give you some, well, maybe it's cheap advice, but advice that was given to me when I was a student and by not only my instructors, but my parents and family and friends to take opportunities as they come. Because unless you go through that door, you'll never know truly whether or not that opportunity was something that was good for you or maybe even bad for you. And, you know, I've often said I've learned more from things that I didn't succeed the first time around because you really have to think about how you can do things differently. So one of the things I'll say is, you know, don't embrace failure, but don't be afraid of it because unless you go through that door, you'll never know. So don't make it hypothetical, make it a reality that you can actually say, I went through that door and I liked it, or I truly didn't like it. So a piece of advice that was given to me by some of my wonderful mentors. I think uh, over the last week or so, hopefully you've received a small token from us, the graduating tumbler, and we'll be using that later on when we collectively have a toast. And I think Duncan, you're gonna organize kind of a, a group photo uh, of us toasting one another. So hopefully you've received that. If you haven't, um, please write us at reach out at landfood, all one word, uh, .ubc.ca. And we'll be putting that in the chat. So if you missed it on my uh, verbal articulation, it'll be there in the um, chat room. But I also wanted to thank um, some people who have really helped out with putting this event together. And there are people like Duncan. Hi, Duncan, right at the top of my Hollywood squares. You know, Nikki Glenning, our alumni relations manager. Sorry, Nikki, I got the title wrong the first time. I got it right now because you wrote it in front of me. Uh, uh, and Karen Lee. Uh, Karen often keeps, tries to keep me in line and on time and on cue. Uh, Karen, I've failed miserably as usual. Uh, so thank you to those people. There are a no, uh, number of other people who are here from the Learning Center uh, that are helping us out. Adrian, Sahil, I see you guys on my Hollywood Square. And I apologize if I've missed anyone, but thank you. Leah, I see from uh, Graduate Student Services. Um, so thank you all for helping out and making this event a reality today. But I also wanted to thank our graduates for making time in their busy schedules to be with us today. So um, as I said, we have this wonderful faculty and alumni and staff who have recorded messages who also want to congratulate you on your graduation. So I hope, Duncan, this is the right thing in the schedule for us to uh, actually have the videos. And yes. there's Christine Clary, our Director of Student Services, who has said, congratulations. So thank you, Christine and your staff and Bonita. I know I was talking to you about our days back in Guelph. Um, so thank you. Uh, so Duncan, I'll let you queue up the videos. And these are heartfelt messages from our faculty, staff and alumni. So over to you, Duncan.
Great, thank you. So um, I'm gonna share the video, but then I've also uh, dropped a link there where you can watch it on YouTube if it lags or anything like that. Sometimes that happens with Zoom. But we'll, uh, we've got a seven and a half minute video now that we'll play. Hello, graduates of Faculty of Land and Food Systems. Congratulations. My name is Sabah Emir Ismaili, and I received both my master's and PhD from LFS and graduated in 2009. I founded the equation in 2010 and built an AI platform and agricultural robotics that serves farmers and growers all over the world. It is an honor for me to address you today. We all had a rough year. Global pandemic changed everything we knew as normal. And although a lot of us are now vaccinated, we are still dealing with the uncertainties of life in the backdrop of this virus. Yet one thing is certain, during all of the ups and downs, food producers and food industry raced to the top. And a lot of investment and attention is now pouring into agriculture, food and nutrition. We no longer can take food for granted. You're graduating at a good time where more and more jobs in the sector become available. They might have stopped do going to concerts, canceled our travels, and second guess some purchases. But through it all, no one stopped eating and governments everywhere started to pay more serious attention to food security. For those of you who are going to pursue a career in food and agriculture, no time is better than now. But not all of you are going to end up in ag, and that is okay. When I graduated from UBC more than a decade ago, I did not envisage a day where I would build autonomous robots and AI algorithms. What you learn here will guide you, guide you to find what you're passionate about. And that cliche that everyone is talking about is really true. If you do what you really like, you won't work a day in your life. I have only one piece of advice for you. Be patient and be kind to yourself. You might not end up in the exact position that you dreamt about right away. And you might not get promoted as fast as you want. Sometimes other factors that are beyond our control might slow us down and block our progress. When that happens, you need to be patient and be persistent in your pursuit. But most importantly, you need to be kind to yourself and don't blame yourself if things don't turn out the way that you want on the first or second or third try. Keep going at it and you will eventually find your path to happiness. Today, you're graduating from LFS, equipped with knowledge that can help you make the world a better place. Food is the common denominator of humanity and agriculture is the most noble vocation. Enjoy your day and let's build a wonderful world. Congratulations, FNH grads. It's been quite a year, but you've proven that you're adaptable. And despite all the academic and personal challenges over the last year and a bit, you're graduating. You should be very proud of this accomplishment. And now you're gonna be moving on to your next big challenge. So maybe that's starting your career, maybe it's going back to school to study some more, or maybe it's moving home to just regroup. But no matter what, you now have an awareness, skills, and know-how to address some of the big issues in society. And you can do that in your own way. So maybe it's helping your friends and family to eat more healthy, or maybe it's being part of the food industry, or maybe it's something further afield from what you've studied here. But you should know that your instructors are proud of you and we wish you every success in whatever you do. One thing that's been very popular in the past, but I don't expect is on anybody's agenda, at least right now, is traveling just for the experience of it. But I hope once we're post pandemic, you'll be able to take the opportunity to travel just for fun and that you'll discover places and people that are gonna enrich your life. 
So once again, your instructors are proud of you and we really do like knowing where you are, what you ended up doing. So keep in touch and let us know what you're doing. So once again, congratulations, f &H grads of 2021. Hello, class of 2021. Today, the global efforts to grow our land and food systems sustainably gains a very promising new addition. I would like to congratulate you all on your graduation and wish you best of luck in your career. Myself and our food processing team at the Faculty of Land and Food Systems will always keep our doors open to you. So please free, feel free to contact us wherever you want and whenever there's an opportunity for collaboration. Again, a very special congratulations and most importantly, lots of commendations and uh, uh, on, 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 this, uh, on achieving this uh, brave feat in your career in the face of a global pandemic. I can't wait to see where your life takes you next. Uh, please keep us posted and wherever you go, our prayers uh, go with you. Uh, so congratulations, class. Hello, graduating class from Land and Food Systems. What an exciting moment. A huge congratulations to all of you. You have demonstrated such persistence and resilience, all the things that are going to carry you through into this next chapter of life. I wish you all the very best on your graduation. Congratulations and very best wishes for the future. Congratulations, class of 2021. We're so proud that you've made it to this day, to the finish line. You've persevered and you've come together in amazing ways. The world has never before needed your skills, your talents, uh, and your solidarity to make this world a better place. And we can't wait to see what you do next. We wish we were on stage to celebrate with you today and to give you the big round of applause that you deserve. But until then, I give you the Zoom clap. See you soon. Congratulations, 2021 graduates. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. You've had some incredible accomplishments over the last several years, and I salute you today. I hope you have a wonderful celebration with friends and families. Take care and stay in touch. Bye. Hi everyone, many congratulations to all the members of the graduating class of 2021 in the Faculty of Land and Food Systems. This has been a really tough year for students having to work online and remotely, so I commend you all on your achievements and wish you all the very best for your future careers. And please don't forget to do keep in touch as our alumni. Thanks. Hello class of 2021, congratulations on your convocation. I'm Sumit Gulati, uh, Program Director, Food and Resource Economics. Among you is Sean Van Gessel, the first ever graduate of our program, the Bachelor of Food and Resource Economics. Sean, thank you for representing us. You'll make the best ambassador we could have, uh, and good luck to all of you. Yeah, folks, you did it. Congratulations. Felicitations. Please enjoy. Congratulations to the Aquaculture Certificate grads and all of the graduates from Land and Food Systems. Continue choosing a career path that you enjoy. Congratulations, LFS graduates of 2021. I know you're stepping into a bunch of uncertainty, but that is actually a good thing. Focus on experiences and networking. And remember, the world needs breadth and depth. We need birds and frogs. Your systems-based views brings breadth into the world, so lean into being a bird for a while until you're either ready to be a frog or continue to soar to see more. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2021. I'm looking forward to meeting you when you come back on campus as alumni. Hello, class of 
2021, wishing you my warmest congratulations on your graduation and well-deserved success. I have no doubt that you have had a challenging but exciting experience, and you should be really proud of everything that you have accomplished here at UBC. I'm really looking forward to see all the positive impacts you will leave behind on your community, both locally and globally. Congratulations again. Hi, congratulations to the graduates of 2021. My name is Linda and I am the president of the LFS Graduate Student Council. You finally made it to the finish line and now it's time to celebrate all of your successes throughout the years. I wish you the best of luck in your journey ahead. Thanks everyone who sent in messages. And Ricky, we are ready for you to return. Thank you, thank you Duncan. And okay, you can kill me because we're going off of the schedule, but I see that Gabby is with us. Gabby was our wonderful president of LFSUS. Oops, let me start my video. Okay, thank you, Duncan. See, that's what happens, right? When you give me control. So Gabby left you a, a video message, but Gabby, since you're here with us, did you want to say something in person? The real you, Gabby. The real me. Well, thank you for um, inviting me to speak, Ricky. To be honest, I wasn't exactly prepared, but um, I have a lot of friends here today. Um, a lot of them that I've met and jumpstart in LFS 100 and LFS 250 and 350. And I really wanted to be part of this uh, huge day for them. Um, so perhaps I could say a few short words. Um, I think it has definitely been such a difficult year, but also such a difficult four, five years for most of us in the undergraduate degree. Um, and I think if anything, I would like to invite my friends, um, whether I know you personally or not, uh, to think about what your experience in LFS and BC means. Um, personally, I really enjoyed my time here and being able to look back onto the moments we had, whether it's in LFS firsts, our LFS classes, or, you know, the small moments that we have meeting each other at the nest, bumping to each other at the, um, at the main mall, or perhaps sharing a moment in Agora. Um, so if anything, I hope that you could look back into your moments in UBC in a positive light, being able to look at these experiences and um, take these positive moments into your future contributions towards the community. Uh, because that's a special part of being part of LFS, being able to be taught what it means to be part of our community and um, leave a positive impact um, to our to the world with what we're doing. Uh, sorry, I don't actually know um, what I'm going to share because I wasn't expecting this, but thank you so much for letting me um, share a short message with um, the class of 2021. Yeah, it, I'm just really glad to be here. Thank you, Gabby. Uh, and I apologize for surprising you, but I think you exemplify what LFS students are about. And I apologize for using this word, but you guys are resilient and can think on your feet. So thank you so much. Um, Duncan, I'm not sure if Linda's here from the graduate students, but if she is, we would be an equal opportunity person and give her a bit of, of time to say something to the graduating class. But if not, I don't see her, but okay. she can speak up as she is. And then I'll okay, spot later. Linda, sorry <laughs> to surprise you too. Okay. Um, I guess that's one of the privileges I have being Dean. I can actually shift the schedule around. So thanks, Duncan, for your patience on this one. But tomorrow is actually the UBC graduation and it's the virtual UBC convocation. And hopefully it starts at 9.30. Uh, Nikki, I think that's right. So I'm looking for Nikki to give me the thumbs up and again, UBC has worked very hard um, to make that experience as wonderful as it can be virtually. Uh, as many of us have said, we wish this would be in person, but hopefully next year, but no consolation to this class, but please come and visit us in person. It's a UBC Celebrates Together event. It's uh, 15 minutes and Nikki, I see it's gonna be globally broadcast. So, um, so that 
people from all over the world can chime in uh, to see the class of 2021. Excuse and, me, Ricky. Uh, yeah. I, I'm sorry to disrupt the fantastic going on, but I did say to Duncan that I would be giving a, a, a message to the class as well. Oh, okay. Less like. Okay, Les, sorry. Um, so you can be disruptive as you want, Les. Well, I know that's my style, but uh, seriously, I, I want to congratulate most sincerely all the graduates, and particularly the GRS students. We are all very proud of you. You did it. Although sometimes you had concerns, but there was never any doubt. <clears throat> you will be the first graduates and hope the only class that has completed your final year wearing a mask. It has been challenging. Although you went through periods of doubt, your passion and dedication won. You must, not only should, but you must be proud of your achievement as much as all of us are. The only people that are more proud than we are your parents. Some unfortunately are only spiritually with us today, but we owe them all loads of gratitude in the way that they were always here for us. I have been very lucky to be able to work with the fantastic faculty, staff, and students at UBC. We've been very lucky to have Dean Ricky Yada's leadership. And in the case of the GRS class, <coughs> we've had Roxana's mentorship and always concern. <coughs> we didn't only worry about people's academic ac activities, but just like LFS, the friendly faculty, we worried about each student's well-being. And consequently, we are very proud of you because you've been able to achieve those particular passions and goals that will send you forward in a very successful way to achieve your particular goals. Keep in mind that LFS is the friendly faculty. We're always available. And so keep in touch. I wish you health, continued success, and a holistic forward lifestyle. Thank you for being here in a British Columbia tradition, University of British Columbia tradition, to Amest. Thank you. Thanks, Les. And again, you know, we're very fortunate to have faculty members like Les um, with us. And that just exemplifies why we are the friendly faculty and resilient faculty. So thank you, Les, for, for your kind words and your heartfelt congratulations. Um, we have a very special guest today uh, in person, um, and that's Yang Fan Zhang. Um, and Yang Fan, uh, I've had the privilege of knowing, um, I think Yang Fan, since I started as dean, uh, Yang Fan's an incredible student. He just finished his PhD in applied animal biology. Um, I think the reason why I got to know Yang Fan, to be honest, is that I was privileged to see award lists and, and Yang Fan won a whole bunch of them. And so he is not only a very accomplished scholar, but a wonderful person. And now he's going to be off to, I don't know if you've heard of this university, it's called Harvard. It's one of those, I think it's one of those, you know, unknown universities, but, uh, Yang Fan is going off to Harvard to do a postdoc. Um, he's being supported by the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council of Canada to get one of those NSERC postdocs is no small feat. It only goes to those top PhD students. And Yang Fan, it's not a surprise that you are supported by NSERC. So Yang Fan, um, we're very, very proud of you and congratulations on all that you've accomplished and that you have represented our faculty in such a wonderful way. So Yang Fan, if I could ask you to um, do the virtual toast. And again, if you have not got your Tumblr yet, 
Um, Duncan, I think put the, or Karen put the website on there or the email address, please write us because we'll get it out to you as soon as possible. Some of you have may have changed the address. So at this point, Yang Fan, I'll turn the virtual mic over to you. And if you wouldn't mind doing the virtual toast. Yes, that's a great honor, Dean Ricky Yada. Thank you very much for inviting me for this ceremony. So do heads up, if you want to participate in this virtual toast, please just keep your camera on. Uh, our IT team will capture this wonderful moment. So what is, what exciting moment here? Congratulations to all my fellow class of 2021 from Landfill System. We have made it through a finish line. And on this whole thing, this virtual ceremony is not real, but your achievements are absolutely concrete. If you don't believe me, gaze over on the stars, you will see perseverance, the lower or mass. Your achievements, now, all of you sitting here, are way beyond perseverance. You persevered. In last year of 2021, everything shut down after 2020. We can all relate to this feeling of failing as struggle and stress, as the pandemic literally turned our world upside down. But our grads soldiers through the Nazi of our degree, that should have been the most stressful or most wonderful time. But you soldiers through, so that show me you champion perseverance. And that perseverance is not just the story of 2020, a thing highlight of my awards and things, but they did the mention is my failing CV is 10 times longer than my actual CV. And I went through a lot of rejections and our journeys are full of twists and turns. And that's grind. That is the grind that not just practice and repetition, but also at once at every single try and keep open-minded. Then repeat is striving for excellence and better understanding of ourselves, is in your every essence as perseverance. As we all champions through 2021 and this mindset of perseverance, let's continue it from the future adversities. Let's face it, 2021 wouldn't be the last obstacle in all of our life. Many more to come. But you can't from that huge one. I'm sure all of you will do, you will do great. Tom asked, choice is all on ours. And this day of celebration, I want to invite you to raise your glass, this tumbler, to join this virtual toast with me. And congratulations to every grad, not a bachelor degree or graduate school. You made it through the fishing line. Let's celebrate. Cheers. All right. Cheers. So one, two, three. <laughs> and let me do one more this so I get everyone. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much, Yang Ken. You know, and all the best as you pursue the next chapter of your life. And we're so confident that you will be successful whatever road you take. So thank you, Yang Fan. And Yang Fan, please visit us uh, from that little school called Harvard. Okay. I guess tomorrow, um, when you officially graduate, <clears throat> you'll become an LFS alumni. And that's wonderful. And so Nikki Glenning, who is our alumni relations manager, uh, has done a superb job in trying to connect and with our alumni and she'll be connecting with you. So hopefully we'll be in touch even though you finally finished through LFS, but we'll look forward to seeing you soon. We're gonna go into actually uh, some breakout rooms or party rooms, but again, my sincere congratulations to all of you for persevering and being a part of our wonderful family called LFS. I also wanted to thank your parents, your family, your friends for their support 
in supporting you as you navigated four years, five years of your undergraduate, your graduate programs here. Because without their support, life would have been, I think, a lot tougher. So thank you to the family members of our graduates. We really appreciate all that you give to our students. So a congratulations. Um, just before we go into the party rooms, uh, and I'll be visiting uh, each of the party rooms, so hopefully we'll get to say hello again, but uh, hopefully you'll be able to wear orange, um, something of orange, to remember the children of the Kamloops Indian Residential School. Um, as I said at the onset, it's a tragedy that we hope never repeats itself. But on a more celebratory note, Duncan, I'm gonna turn it over to you. We're gonna go into the party rooms and uh, hope to see you there. But thank you to the faculty, staff and students that participated. Um, and we'll see you soon.